This religious congregation was founded by Blessed Savina Petrilli. Blessed Savina Petrilli. A servant of God, Savina Asunta Maria Petrilli was born on the 29th day of August, 1851, in an ancient historical and famous city in Tuscany, Siena, Italy. They resided in a steep climbing narrow street, Via del Costone. The house was a modest building with windows on the front. It is reported that the infant girl Savina one day was believed dead, covered with a sheet and left in a condition for six hours. But miraculously found alive. Fervent Christians as they were, the Petrilli parents, Matilde and Celso Petrilli, hastened to have the child be baptized the day after. Initial years of her life revealed a sparkling intelligence, a tender sensibility to others, deeply in love and impressed by the life and saintly example of Saint Catherine of Siena. Go! Go with Saint Catherine and follow her footsteps and examples. The invitation of Pope Pius IX coincides with the youthful dream of Savina did not seem ready yet, but fulfilled. With her courage, full trust and abandonment to the will of God, she began the work of establishing the congregation at the age of 22. Blessed Savina has always felt a blaze in her heart, the fire of the love of Christ and of neighbor, which animated and burned in her entire life. Mother House in Via Baroncelli On September 7, 1874, the first sisters of the poor entered this house for the first time in the most severe poverty. It was to remain the mother house to this day. Later year on 1881 marked an important event for the Institute of the Sisters of the Poor. Up to now, the group had been confined within the walls of Via Baroncelli. Within these walls, the sisters lived their most important moments and had worked miracles. In fact, one thing is to begin, and quite another to mature the faith and experience of charity. 
This is the Cradle of the Institute. Church of the Visitation Adjacent to the Mother House is the Church of the Visitation. Savina made her vow to build a temple of thanksgiving dedicated and consecrated to the Heavenly Mother Mary, who kindly bestowed so many favors upon our humble congregation and thanksgiving for the recoveries of the three sisters that time. In this remarkable and beautiful church is the place wherein each sister of the poor is solemnly having their perpetual profession of the three vows of chastity, poverty, and obedience. The act of prostration is a total surrender, an offering of self to God in front of the incorrupted body of the foundress. To be rooted to the cradle where the charism began. Religious habit Religious habit is a sign of her consecration and a testimony of her embrace of simple life and belonging to the religious family. It becomes part of her identity. The cross crucifix as part of the SDP missionary guard reminds them of Jesus' total sacrifice and offering. In response, we become adorers and continuously offer sacrifices with Christ. The ring is received on the sister's perpetual profession. This ratifies forever her covenant of love with Christ and a strong filial bond with the Father and with the Spirit, a sign of indissoluble union. Charism Charism? Yeah, Charism is a specific ability given to all Christians by the Holy Spirit to give them power both to represent Christ and to be the channel of God's goodness for people. I am then glad to share to you the distinct spirit that describes our congregation, the Sisters of the Poor of St. Catherine of Siena. Blessed Savina Petrilli, our foundress, inherits from St. Catherine of Siena the four great love. First, the love for the Eucharist. That empowers us to represent Christ in His priestly spirit faithfully. The second is the love for the cross. We embrace the life of faith and simplicity in total abandonment to God. As we also face challenges in our mission, being one with those who suffer and have reason to cry. The third is the love for the church. We consecrate ourselves to God with dedicated service of great charity to the needy and become channels of our Lord's goodness and blessings to His people. The fourth is the love for the poor. We are sisters of the poor. And with the very heart of Jesus, we are called to alleviate all sorts of poverty, bearing in mind and heart the very words of Blessed Sabina. To bring joy to others is to double one's own capacity for joy. And to manifest Jesus in our life brings us happiness. Looking at us, people should perceive Jesus. Like Jesus, who was anointed to proclaim the good news to the poor, each SDP sister, by incarnating the spirit of the congregation, becomes a bearer of divine love and mercy to the poor, the abandoned, the sick, and the aged. The Apostolate First, giving catechesis and educational assistance. 
The Sisters of the Poor, by the grace of God, expanded their providential work of educating and feeding the children, especially the poorest, and helped them to become good Christians amidst their social status in life, and to develop their physical and intellectual abilities as well. The congregation manages several learning schools and universities. Some sisters are teaching in the universities as theology professors. Other sisters extend their work in the parishes for youth assistance. Second, home visitation to the poor and prisoners. The sisters visit poor families to bring serenity and alleviate poverty. The sisters provide program for the prisoners, give them catechesis, and feed them with the help of lay collaborators. Third, the sisters give assistance to the sick. There are sister nurses and doctors who offer their service and their knowledge to the needy. The congregation has retirement centers that provide the elderly a family atmosphere and assistance from their own sisters in Christ. The growth and the expansion of the congregation was quite amazing that the desire of Blessed Sabina was fulfilled, serving the Universal Church. Besides Italy, the congregation grows in different houses and communities in Brazil. Argentina India Philippines Ecuador and Germany The number of vocation arises all throughout the said countries to imitate the living message of life of our blessed founders. Throughout the history, the Mother Generals have maintained the spiritual inheritance from Blessed Sabina. At present, the congregation in general is headed by our dearest, Mother Liliana Quesada, SDP.